Super Mario Odyssey is not only a phenomenal Mario game, but a phenomenal game in general. The game opens up with Mario attempting to rescue Princess Peach from the forced marriage Bowser is attempting to stage. However, Mario is overpowered by Bowser's magical hat and is knocked off his airship. Cappy, Mario's companion in this game, sees this and decides to assist Mario on his journey because Bowser took his tiara-shaped sister, aptly named Tiara, to be used as Peach's tiara for the wedding. In order to reach Bowser and put a stop to his plans, he must power up a hat-shaped spaceship known as the Odyssey, collecting power moons and traveling to other kingdoms to do so. One thing you'll notice off the bat is how smooth the movement in this game is. Mario's abilities are a perfect blend of Super Mario 64 and Super Mario Sunshine, meaning he's able to long jump, backflip, triple jump, and do a spin midair, in addition to the newly added rolling ability. Since he has Cappy, he no longer punches or kicks, which is understandable given this new addition. However, he is able to bounce off his hat while it's spinning midair, giving him extra horizontal distance which can be helpful crossing gaps or whenever he may be in a pinch. With this hat shaped companion on Mario's head you'll find yourself traveling to diverse kingdoms, such as the dinosaur based Cascade Kingdom, the Metro Kingdom known as New Donk City, the food based Luncheon Kingdom, as well as the beach themed Seaside Kingdom and more. In these kingdoms you'll be able to take control of enemies as well as inanimate objects with this capture mechanic, opening up a new world of gameplay possibilities. While there are a decent chunk of easy to reach moons, there's still plenty of other challenging moons you could find if you really explore the level more. While there is no game over for this game, the player will lose coins upon death. The coins actually serve a purpose in this game as they allow the player to purchase costumes and other items at the crazy cap shops located at the various explorable kingdoms. There's also big silver blocks in most of the kingdoms that allow for more collectible moons post game, as well as a nice surprise after the credits. Super Mario Odyssey sought to capture the experience of the innovative Super Mario 64 and its sequel, Super Mario Sunshine, and does that in spades, offering up a pretty high replay value with its extra post-game moons, as well as the added Luigi's Balloon World feature, where the objective is to reach balloons hidden by other players within a certain time limit. With a game of this magnitude, Super Mario Odyssey is a game that certainly lives up to its title.